called Dr. Hamed Ivan, the DHO Shilohola District. We have had a very successful meeting of stakeholders. We call it the quarterly performance review meeting, but the main focus of this quarterly performance review meeting was to disseminate the results of the completed, completed polio vaccination campaign for Chiruhula District. Chiruhula District has 14 sub-counties and the campaign has been successful. We scored an average of 107%, but the performance was variable among sub-counties. The best sub-county was Chitula, with a performance of 153%, followed by Hua Town Council 130, Sanga Town Council 123%, Kanyarelu 122%. The last two sub-counties were Kenshunga sub-county and Sang sub-county. So we would like to thank all of the stakeholders who participated in this campaign, right from the village level, for parish level, sub-county level, up all stakeholders at district level. We are grateful to the RRDC, Office of the RRDC, the Office of the Chairman and the Office of the COW for the support we got. We would like to thank the heresy workers who worked and all of the people at, at village level, being that at that time when we were working up for resources we were not yet there and we made a successful campaign. And one of the good examples why we had reward people today. We have rewarded every sub-county, but uh, beginning with number one up to number 14. And we hope that this will give them more courage to perform better in the, in the campaign and even the routine immunization. What we want is to see that all our children in the district are fully vaccinated. This is this campaign for polio, but even with all other immunizable diseases. Last year, at the district, we did well. Actually, in southwestern Uganda, we are the district where all the antigens were almost nine antigens were at 100 percent. We want to keep this stronger. Thank you that our children within the Shirwala district are ever protected and they have had immunity to protect themselves against immunizable diseases. We appeal every, to everybody out there. And our stakeholders clearly make sure that if you have a child in your village, a child in your ward, we want to make sure that these children are fully immunized. Now, the second reason why we had a meeting, to, apart from having a polio campaign, we again had another campaign of COVID vaccination. And in that COVID vaccination, we, it is still ongoing. So far, 54% of our people are vaccinated. But we had some problems in entering data which I believe now we have sorted out. Two weeks back, out of this 54% vaccination, which, which was equivalent to 54,000 people almost, after the first two weeks of vaccination, only 14,000 entries had been made. But I would like to thank the team, all people who have participated in entering data into what we call the individual data entry. Right now, for the last three weeks or four weeks, 54,000 entries have been made and right now our backlog, the data remaining which is not yet entered is less than 5,000. We hope that as we enter all this data into the system for Ministry of Health, we shall be able to get more vaccines and all our population. We shall show cause that we need more vaccines to vaccinate all our population and we get more vaccines and everybody in Shirogula gets vaccinated. We would like to thank you, the press and the stakeholders for all the efforts you have done to, to make our sector a success. The other sad thing that we have been happy about today is the, we had wanted to make sure that all our center series have what we call art treatment centers. Mm -hmm. And the letters that I'm showing you today is that uh, four of our facilities which we had applied for have actually been approved to offer art. And these facilities include Nswere, include Revi Gemano, these facilities include Rambira, and, uh, and uh, then it was Sunday. Now, this is also in line with bringing services nearer to the people. So people who have been in these sub-counties, right now these facilities have been operated to offer art. Very soon, we shall, within one or two months, we shall have art services there. The rest of are going to be trained. 
We are going to have more resource workers posted there. We are going to make sure that there is what we call capacity building of resource workers. And then people within these sub counties, I think by end of February, will not have to travel long distances looking for art. They will be able to get art from their sub counties or facilities, which is also a very good step in in trying to bring service near to the people, because we realize that these facilities, some of the newly upgraded facilities in the last five or six years, they have been delivering some other than the maternity teams, but they lacked at services. So we are grateful to the Minister of Health and other stakeholders, our partners of Butasso, our partners of rights for supporting this increased access to services in the population of Chirihula by making sure that at least most of our sub counties have access to art. When this is done, we shall now make sure that out of our 14 sub counties, out of the 14 sub counties, at least at least 12 of them will have art centers. Now, two of the sub counties, which include, which include the sub county of Renta and the sub county of Ravarata, there is ongoing construction of new maternity units and new structures, which we believe within the two months, by the end of March, these maternity units will be finished. When they are also finished, first of all, they will be able to be upgraded as maternity units, which will be working. We will believe our mother the district too. We shall again also submit them for accreditation or for art services. And therefore, if we had done that, we shall upload the service near to the people at every sub county level. What I've also done today, we have emphasized the, the emphasis that the government, apart from offering services at sub -county, every sub county level, we want services like criminalization to go deep at parish level. And I'm encouraging all my recent teenagers that every quarter, every council meeting, they're able to share results of immunization in their sub county for parish to their political leaders at sub county level. Such that these people at sub county level, they can be able to understand which of their parishes achieves the target. And we have told them that each parish must achieve a target of at least 90%. If we're able to do that, then we shall be able to make sure that all our population is have what we call the hand immunity and they are protected against immunizable diseases. And we shall have a population which is free of immunizable diseases within the district. So we'd like to say thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, the political leadership of the district. We thank the RDC, the Office of the Cow, and everybody who has made this a success, including Minister of Veres, our partners of Tasso, and our partners of Rights, the Southwest. Okay, you talked about the HIV increase. How is it in the area? Okay. How, how is the HIV state? The HIV services have been improving over time, like what I've been actually telling you in Chirigula. Like what I can tell you six years ago, our prevalence rate was 7.2%. But according to what the recent Uganda Demographic Survey, indicator, HIV indicator survey, we have gone down 6.2%. That means the prevalence is going down instead of going up. But for us to bring this prevalence down and bring, bring the deaths to HIV, we have been having a lot of intervention like I've been telling you. I've told you that, like I've told you previously, that 10, 11 years ago we had only one art site in Lushere. But right now we have extended art services to every sub-county. With, with these new art sites, only two sub-counties will not be having art sites, maybe three. But we are trying to make sure that whenever we build a facility center, we have art services here. What does this mean? We have made sure at the district we achieve what we call the 390, 95, 95. That 95% of our patients, we test them because we are doing a lot of testing. 95% of those who are positive, we start them on treatment. And 95% of them are virus suppressed. Now, by extending HIV testing, counseling, and testing to every county, some county, it means. We are trying to make sure that whoever is out there with HIV, we are able to get him, test him early and to avoid more transmission of HIV within our country. That's one, two. We have also uh, put more emphasis on prevention measures, the ABC messages, the Abstain messages, the basic being faithful messages, and condom use. We have made sure that most of our hot spots have access to condoms, especially the bars and the lodges. We have put condoms there. See that our population there is a reduced transmission of HIV. 
But most importantly now, the, the 395 I've told you have actually played a big role and it has been successful because at least every sub county, or at least I have told you 12 out of 14 sub counties have access to art. We believe the remaining two people can travel very near. Like now, if you talk of Ramalata, people can go to Sangha for art. People in the rental can now still go to Kinoni, but we believe as soon as the rental health center series is finished, we shall also extend art services near to them. Mm. Thank you very much. Don't you have a last message? The last message that I want to give my members is the people of Chiruhula. We understand that uh, three weeks back the Minister of Medicine gave a speech about COVID and the COVID situation. Though in the last one week it has been improving, but three weeks back Chiruhula was the number three in the whole country in terms of what support. After Kampala, Kotido, and and the and Chirula was number three. Now, we would like our members and our community here to play to really observe the standard operating procedure as even if the economy is fully open. Two, we want everybody to embrace vaccination. We thank all of you for embracing vaccination. But we want to make sure that as soon as we get the remaining vaccines which we are planning for, each of you comes and gets vaccinated. And if you get vaccinated, especially with the two doses, for those who are eligible for two doses, for those who are eligible for three doses, booster or a cancer worker, you go for the third dose, we shall have some level of protection to against COVID. And as much as we are also using this OPs, like you see, I, I put on a mask. The other issue is that we encourage our people to do exercises, we encourage our people to eat a lot of fruits like oranges and the other vegetables to see that in case you get COVID, your immunity has some level of ability to fight this COVID. Thank you very much, but we believe that we are going to win this war of COVID and just like we shall win the war of polio and other diseases. Thank you. I still remain Dr. Kamedevida Imandiye Chochirukuna.